What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend, and in this video today, I just want to talk about a few key things about my favorite broker, Fidelity Investments, and why I think they're the best broker for beginners, and uh, just some things that you need to know about it. So if you are looking for a better broker, if you currently use Robinhood, if you currently use Weeble, or uh, potentially, you know, you already use Fidelity, but you want to know some more about it, and there's a few things uh, that you might need to know, Watch this video because uh, it's going to be really helpful. There's a lot of new things that I just learned in the last like week or so that are very, very important if you're trading stocks on Fidelity. So I just want to make sure that you guys know what, you know, I guess all this new knowledge that I know because it's been really helpful for me and I figure if it's helpful for me, it's going to be helpful for thousands of you guys. So definitely watch the end, smash the like button on this video, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, yeah, let's dive right into my computer. All right guys, I'm here at my computer and the first thing that I want to talk about in terms of Fidelity, why it's my favorite broker is in terms of the OTC commission fees that you pay. Now Fidelity used to have pretty high commissions. I think it was $6.95 per trade for every single stock that you traded. And that's how it was back when I was learning stocks for the first time back uh, when I was in, I think it was five years ago. So what was that 2016, 2017? And uh, I mean, this made it really, really hard to grow a small account because if you have a thousand dollar account and uh, you know, you place two trades that each cost you $6.95, I mean, you're losing at least $10, $10 into a thousand dollars. That's that's 1%. You're losing at least 1% on uh, on every trade, which means it's really, really difficult to be profitable overall with those commissions. And uh, the fact that Fidelity does not have commissions on OTCs makes a huge, huge difference because again, if you recall my previous videos, OTCs are my favorite types of stocks to trade because they're a lot less crowded, there's no hedge funds, uh, there's no you know big algorithmic traders taking huge amounts of volume, they're pretty much under the wire for those massive institutional investors. And because of that, the momentum is easier to read and you're not dealing with those, I guess those big corporations. And uh, you're dealing with like the, the average Joe Schmo, like you and me. And most people don't really know what they're doing when it, term, when, it when it comes to trading stocks. And because of that, OTC stocks are especially good for, uh, for making money on because they're easy to read the momentum. And again, Fidelity has zero dollar commissions when it comes to OTC stocks. And this makes such a big difference when you have a small account. If you have a $50,000 account, okay, uh, you know, a uh, six ninety five commission doesn't make that much of a difference. But if you have a $1,000 account, a $5,000 account, it makes a really, really big difference. Now, if you go to some of the other big brokerages, you know, E-Trade, what is their OTC commission? Well, you'll see here, it's six ninety five to trade these OTC stocks, which is really frustrating. Same thing with TD Ameritrade. 695 commission applies to online trades of over the counter stocks. So again, Fidelity is the only one out of these big three that does not have this commission. And I know Schwab doesn't, uh, but I'm not really a huge fan of their platform. I'm still learning it, so maybe that could be a good option. I'll let you guys know. Definitely stay posted on that one. But uh, the reason that Fidelity does not have this is because they limit certain OTCs that you're not allowed to trade. And uh, how do you know what OTCs are not allowed to trade? Well, you can go to this website otcmarkets.com. And uh, I guess this screen recording is not going to let you see that. But again, otcmarkets, this thing right here, .com. And uh, all you have to do is search the ticker in here and you'll know if you're allowed to buy it on Fidelity. So uh, you can see here, MITI, my, uh, my lover, this is an OTC QB. And this is you know, one of the better OTCs. I think QX, if I'm not mistaken, is the best one. QB is like a growth stage, but at least has a penny price per share. And then Pink Sheets is like a level under that. And that's where, you know, it's it's sketchy. There's not as much information required. I don't think there's any information required. And then a level below that is like delinquent Pink Sheets. So you can see here, uh, TSMP. TSMP is a Pink Sheet, but it's pink with current information pink with current information. And Fidelity allows you to trade these. Now, what does Fidelity not allow you to trade? Let's come up with some examples. Well, this stock, PTTN, if it has a stop sign, this means you're not allowed to trade it. And it means that it's a pink sheet that does not have any information listed. It does not have the information that it, that it needs to have listed. So because of that, there's a stop sign on this website and uh, Fidelity will not let you trade it. So if you want to know if you're going to be able to buy an OTC stock, I always look it up here first because it sucks to like be analyzing the chart for the, the perfect entry and you click that buy button and then Fidelity's like, ah, you're actually not allowed to buy this stock. So always look up 
the chart, uh, I mean, uh, look up the ticker on this website, otcmarkets.com first to see if you're gonna be able to buy it. Again, if it's OTCQB, OTCQX, uh, you know, I guess these are some examples of QX. Yeah, again, you can see, I mean, QX, you know, could be in the dollar range. Uh, these are really better stocks. And uh, I mean, these, these are, I guess they're not always in that, but you know, this is kind of more reputable. QX, QB, those are levels above pink sheets. And even pink sheets are fine. TSMP again is a pink sheet, but you're allowed to trade it. Um, what is another stock that you cannot trade? Let's see, uh, COUV. This one has a skull and crossbones. So uh, if, if there's a caveat, emptor, this means that uh, the OTC markets has determined there's a public interest concern associated with this company. This company is, uh, is basically scamming. And obviously if there's a skull and crossbones, you can also not trade it on Fidelity. So basically if you see a, uh, if you search up your ticker and you see Let's, let's just see ENZC. Again, so this one is pink sheets. This means you can trade it. OZSC, let's look up another one. OZSC, pink sheets, you can trade it. ILUS, let's look up that one. Stop sign, you cannot trade it. So hopefully this helps you guys to understand what you can and what you cannot trade on Fidelity. Now, there's one other thing that I wanna talk about. If there is a five letter ticker ending in F, uh, that is a foreign OTC to my understanding. And uh, I don't know what Fidelity's, I guess, criteria are for these because it doesn't seem like they charge a commission for all of them. But there's certain OTC stocks that are five letter tickers ending in F where Fidelity charges a $50 commission for every buy and sell you execute on that stock. And I learned that the hard way. I paid $200 in commissions on one little $600 trade. Now, shout out to Fidelity because they refunded me that uh, when I asked just because, you know, I really didn't know the rules and I guess they appreciate my business given the amount of trades that I make, but uh, you could easily make that mistake. And you know, if you have a smaller account, this could be horrible, horrible, horrible. So how do you know if there is a, uh, a, a fee on that? Well, here's what I do. If you go to trade online, you can go here. I'm gonna have to blow up my account number, um, but you can see, you can type in the symbol here and go hit preview and uh, just, just preview buying one share. You can see here estimated value, including $0 commission, but a $50 foreign settlement fee. Preview order. All right, well, I mean, yeah, I guess you don't have to preview. You can see here. Uh, so what's what's an example of one where it does not have this fee? Again, five letter ticker ending in F. PLNHF, buy one share at market. Including $0 commission, 742. Let's do another one, DF life, DF life. Buy one share at market. Zero dollar commission. So again, you just have to type in the ticker here and uh, you'll see MMNFF, that's another one. Is there gonna be a commission on this? No, there's no commission on this. So this is a good way of checking because again, if you have the uh, the order preview page disabled on Active Trader Pro if you're day trading a lot, which is what I recommend because that's just one extra step, one extra button click which is gonna slow down your entries and prevent you from being able to make the trades that you wanna make. So on Active Trader Pro, I recommend getting rid of the order preview screen, which is what would show you the fact that there would be a $50 commission. So if you don't have that, then uh, I recommend just checking online here and uh, avoiding those $50 commissions by just making sure before you buy any stock that's five letters that ends in F that you're not gonna get charged $50 for it because man, that really sucks. It happened to me and uh, I, I don't want it to happen to any of you guys because it sucks. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Hopefully these few you know, little things about Fidelity help you guys out if you use Fidelity or you're considering switching to Fidelity. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it's my favorite broker of all time. Been using it for years and years. And uh, yeah, I don't get compensated to say that at all. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please smash that like button. If you have not already, my mouth is getting really dry. Some of you guys need to mail me those, those kombuchas. If you, if, you, if you appreciate my videos, send me some kombuchas and uh, I will love you forever. All right, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, let's grow better together. Preguntar, bebé, dime por qué te mientes. No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes.